Hello and welcome back, I'm Ivor Evett, here on Torque Drift on the PC. We're here for a build episode of a car that, you guys, if you know the channel and you know me, you knew it was coming, you just didn't know when. So we're here to do a new build on a new car. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which found in the description box below. Well, let's get to it. So, if you guys know me and you know the channel, you guys know what car I usually go to. So before we do that, we're going to try and beat this Orlando challenge here. The Formula Drift Orlando challenge. You'll probably see the car here in a second though. Unless we automatically... Yeah, yeah, you'll see it. You'll see it. It's right back there. 25,000. We'll get two sponsor crates. We are going to be building the Z today. If you guys know the channel, you guys know my love for Z chassis, 350Z and 370s. So, we are building that. The car does have a bunch of import parts on it, but we're going to put more onto it. We're going to see if we can beat this Orlando Chase Challenge. So, we're going to try and find which car I'm feeling. You know, we're going to give Red Dan's car a rip. So... Let's see if we can chase down Dean Carney with Rad Dan. Didn't get off to the greatest of starts. Probably should have uh, started in a lower gear. So we are nowhere near the 25,000 chase because we need to be up against him higher on the bank. So we're going to give it one more shot and see what we can do. I'm going to lower that audio just a little bit. So we didn't even get tier 1. So we need to start in a lower gear. We kind of bogged down. So we probably should start in second gear. And then get our way up into fourth. Hopefully we can get a better launch on this. Just no grip whatsoever. And Dean Kearney's car definitely uh, much faster, but we're managing to somewhat catch up. Running way high on that bank. We're definitely not going to get the 25,000 chase. Because unfortunately, we're not getting enough grip coming off the start. We did get 16, so we got some cash. We're not getting enough grip coming off the start. So maybe we should uh, change up cars a little bit and try maybe a different car maybe we can get some more grip on I mean we can give our M4 a shot I don't know if we're gonna have enough grip in the M4 though but or the speed actually to keep up with Dean Carney try starting in fourth a little bit better grip there though but not close enough all right so we did get a little bit better grip off there, so let's give this another shot. We managed to keep up to him closer, I feel. Except for that time we uh, we bogged down, so uh, definitely struggling here to get the launch. Where oh, We need to go up here. To get the launch, so we will try third gear launch. Struggling to get grip here at OSW. That time we were a little bit better. But Dean Kearney is leaving us in our M4. Ah, oh, I ran that way. Why we're going to hit those barriers. That's how they prevent you from going up. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to tag this. We're going to try a different car, maybe one more car, but... Um, I'm thinking maybe only cars that might be able to do it would be Mad Mike's or maybe Christos Blush's car. We try Christos Blush. That EI2 Euro fight. Oh my god, that's not gonna help. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a drop and a bit of a bug. Okay, that time we're good. So that's uh, a little bit unfortunate that we kind of just drop like that. Okay. Should have stayed in third. 
Mm, we had the launch on him too. Struggling to get this challenge done. Shouldn't have hesitated. Shouldn't hit the brakes. Should have just stayed in it. We run that so wide, much wider than I need to. All right, we're gonna try not to hesitate. We're gonna try to initiate right in there with him. Not entirely sure if it's gonna work, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Nope, we failed to initiate. Oh, but, but we were right on him there. So we might still be able to get this. Oh yeah, we got it, we good. So just a little door banging in Christoph Belushi's car, and we're able to get the 25,000 chase. So we managed to get those sponsor crates, so we're gonna use those to start building that three uh, that 350Z more. So who knew that all I had to do was just get really close and door bang on, you know, Dean Kearney's door, and we would have been able to get the, you know, the points we needed. So. Let's go back into parts, and we're going to go to the 350Z, which is going to be all the way over here. Now, it does have a bunch of um, aftermarket parts already on it, so now we're going to go into crates, because we do have four spots of crates to open, so we're going to open these four up. Ooh, that's a good pull. We did need that exhaust, so we did get to upgrade the ex exhaust. No, it's not a super crazy pull, but it's a pull nonetheless. Some more cash, which is going to give us more money. Some more gold, which is definitely good if we want to buy some more parts. Let's pull uh, final sponsor crate here, some tires, and some more tires. So, fortunately, that wasn't a good pull in that aspect. So let's go check what we got here. We do are going to put that exhaust on, that 3-inch Mishimoto exhaust. Now we're going to go back to parts and see what we got. So we're going to want to start with some suspension and stuff yeah okay we're gonna want to start with suspension and we're gonna do an angle kit we do have enough to get those auto buy so we're gonna auto buy that stuff which is good now we already have the exhaust and stuff of that nature but we're gonna need to upgrade the brakes the diff the clutch and uh, all this other stuff. So since we have the money to buy it all, we're gonna buy it all now. And then we will uh, put it all on the next episode because we're not gonna get it right now. So we do have all that and now we can go into even higher parts. Higher suspension, higher angle kits. We should buy this stuff while we have the coin. Well, they never said you built a car without going all out so buy the angle kit buy the suspension and um, what other parts should we be oh should we buy the bigger turbo we should probably look at engines though I am liking the fact of uh, RB26 so we have a little extra money we'll buy that we will buy this RB 2J RB 2J or RB hmm I kind of like the fact of a 2J so we're gonna go with a 2J so we're gonna buy the 2J which kind of puts us um, out of money we have a little bit of money maybe we can buy we can take a look at the body kits definitely gonna want to get that body kit on there that looks sweet and then of course why are they incompatible? Oh, that one's incompatible. Oh, uh, yep. We got to get some more coins and stuff to pull on some aggressive body kits. But I feel like we need to change the wheels up because these wheels are uh, pretty plain. And I'm not seeing any amazing wheels that I want to put on yet. So I think we'll keep the stock wheels on it for now. So... We do need to go into tuning and adjust some stuff now because we do have a bunch of stuff in it. So we're going to go in, we're going to tune our angle kit for right now. 
bump up as much as we can. We'll leave the camber. We're gonna go up in the caster. Confirm. We're gonna go. Oh no. Confirm. And then we'll go into suspension. And then we will lower it. Stiffen it up a little bit. Should probably pull my keyboard out so I can hit accept. Rather than having to go constantly back like I do. So that is set. And then we do have our boost and everything turned up. So we're going to back that. We're going to have to go adjust the rear. We don't want positive camber. We're going to want a little bit of negative camber. So we accept a little bit of negative camber. And then for suspension, we're going to lower it up. Stiffen it just one as well. And that's what we're going to run for right now. Now, do we have differential lock? Can we tune this? We'll leave it how it sits. So Z, definitely super excited to have the Z and the build. As you can see, we bought a lot of parts for the car already. So there will be definitely another episode on this one. So let's take the Z for a rip. Is anybody... Well, we could try Cali Banks real quick. We guys... Every of you guys know if you've been a part of the channel for a while, Kelly Banks is good or bad for me. Let's see if we can find anybody to go against here on Kelly Banks and FD Irwindale circuit. Been having a bit of an issue trying to find battles recently. I don't know if it's just my oh oh there we go. Okay. Well this should be an interesting battle. About the same horsepower. So first rip of the Z. Throw it in second. Kick it in third. Kick it in. Oh, not terrible out of the bat. Kind of uh, lost a little bit there. But you know what? For a first rip out with the Z, I'll take it. Just a little, uh, little bump on the back bumper. Nothing major. That turbo is so loud in this car. I definitely think the audio needs to be changed a little bit because that turbo pop off is super loud. We did get a way better lead in our little Z. So we might take a W with the Z for the first shot. Might need some grippier tires. Oh, kicking the third. Uh, trying to, oh, tr trying to throw, do oh man. Dude is struggling to uh, stay sideways in that Mad Mike FD. We're trying to get the best we can, but we're getting door bangs. Definitely curious how the 2J is going to sound once we actually get the 2J in there. A little door love on there. So the Z does handle the bank quite well. I think we should definitely uh, change our tires. Maybe uh, put some different tires on there. We have plenty of these, so we'll throw these on. Maybe get a little bit more grip. And then we're going to see if we can find another competitor here to finish this episode off. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode. So like you saw, we bought a bunch more parts for the Z. So you know there's more episodes coming here on Torque Drift. And it looks like we're going up against a iPhone user with a uh, pretty simple clean S13. So let's see what we got. Second gear. Third gear pull. Flick it in. Yep, the tires were definitely a much better choice. Getting a lot more grip in the back end of this car. Oh, he's so far a pretty solid lead run, I would say, in the Z. I definitely like how the Z is gripping up and handling right now, and it's just a basic tune. So super excited to get the higher suspension kits and everything on there, as well as the 2J. So, 350 may be my new favorite car. So I think we're going to definitely build this thing all, all the way up. See if we can't throw it in now. Suck up this dude's door. Just a little door love. Did not expect him to break so early. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm getting back to my old chase abilities here on the PC on the controller. Let me know what you guys think. You think I'm getting better on the controller? I think I am. So I think that'll do it here for this episode. Two dubs, I believe, for today in the Z. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll have a response description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.